Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square and inside the square is a semicircle. And this semicircle is actually tangent to a line. And their point of tangency is actually have another line drawn to the corner of the square to form the blue triangle. And we are asked to find the area of the blue triangle. Okay, so first thing that we have to do is we need to draw a line from the corner of the square to the center of the semicircle. And since the <coughs> diameter of the semicircle is equal to the side of the square, then this is 10 the diameter and also if the diameter is 10 then this should be 5 the radius okay so next is we find this hypotenuse this hypotenuse is actually let's say it is h is equal to square root of 5 square plus n square and h is equal to 25 plus 100 so h is equal to 125 so 125 can be written as 5 cube so we can make 5 squared as perfect square so we have h is equal to 5 square root of 5 okay so next is we notice that since these two lines are actually tangent to the semicircle, then these two triangles should be congruent. And if this side is 5, then this is also 5. And these angles are actually congruent. So if we say that this is A, and this is the A, and this should be a complementary angle, say we call it B, and this is B. And if we draw a line from this point to this point, then these two lines are actually congruent. Okay, so our next thing that we have to do is we need to find the length of this line, which is also the same with the length of this line. Okay, so let us call that segment as M. And M is actually the altitude on hypotenuse of this. This 5, 10, and 5 squared of 5 right triangle. So M is actually equal to the sides of this. I mean the legs of this right triangle, 10 times 5. This is actually the formula for the altitude to hypotenuse. So 10 times 5 divided by 5 square root of 5. So we cancel this 5 and multiply this by square root of 5 over square root of 5 to rationalize. So m is equal to, this becomes actually 5. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. Cancel this. So we have m is equal to 2 square root of 5. Okay, so actually our goal is to find this length. This length. Because if we find that length, we can actually find this length. Because this length is actually the height of the blue triangle and it will be easy to find the area of that blue triangle. Okay, so but before that, we draw a line from this point of tangency to the corner of the square. And by Thales theorem, this is actually a right triangle. Okay, so if this is a right triangle, then this is all the hypotenuse. So this is actually 10, this hypotenuse. And this side we have calculated as 2 square root of 5. So if the sum, sum with this up, this becomes 4 square root of 5. So if we need to find this, this length, then we will use Pythagorean. So say that we will call this length as n. So n is actually equal to the square root of 
the hypotenuse, which is 10, this length. So 10 square minus this 4 square root of 5. So 4 square root of 5 squared. So this becomes n is equal to the square root of 100 minus 16 times 5. And that would be 80. So n is actually square root of 20. So what 20 can be written as 4 times 5. So square root of 4 is 2. So n is equal to 2 square root of 5. Okay, so next is we use again the altitude on hypotenuse theorem to find this length. So let us call that as uh, O, this length. So actually the legs are 4 square root of 5 and 2 square root of 5. And the hypotenuse is 10. So we have O is equal to 4 square root of 5 times 2 square root of 5 divided by 10. So this becomes 5, this 2. And if this becomes actually 10, this 5 and 2. So we cancel this 5, 2, and because there is 10 here. So O is equal to 4. Okay, so now it is easy to find this length, the height of the blue triangle. So it is simply 10 minus 4 and that would be actually 6. And the base is actually 10. And now for the final step, we are now ready to find the area of the blue triangle. So we have area is equal to 1 half times the base, which is 10 and the height which is 6 okay so cancel this this becomes 5 so area is equal to 30 square units and that is our answer now thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this Thank you. Bye.